Hello, welcome. We're going to solve this uh, log expression right here and find what it equals. Uh, so pause the video, try it out, and then press play when you're ready to work with me. Okay, so let's start with the answer. The answer is zero. And let's think about why this makes sense and then what kind of things we can say when we read a logarithm to remind ourselves of the definition of a logarithm. So in general, we can say that the log of base A of B equals C. Let's say A, B, and C. There we go. What this means is that this is only true if and if A to the power of C equals B. Do you see how I rearranged that? In logarithms, um, the result essentially that we're getting over here represents the exponent here. And that's because logarithms are keeping track of the exponents or the powers of different bases. And this little subscript right here is the base that we're looking at. And this value inside the parentheses is essentially the result of base A raised to a power C. So I'm going to reread that because reading a logarithm is essentially how we kind of can remember what it's saying. So this says uh, the log of base A, excuse me, log base A of B equals C. And in saying that, saying log base A, you might remind yourself, okay, that little number, that's our base. And then of B, that's essentially our result. And C is the exponent that we're looking for. So in this case right here, A is 7, right? B is 1, and C is 0. So to figure this out, right, this is just saying, by the way, that if we have 7, base of 7, raised to a power of 0, that equals a result of 1. Anything, any non-zero number to the 0 power is 1. And uh, the way I figure this out is I just kind of set it up. And we'll look at other examples. We have to do calculations. But here I could say, OK, well, 7 to what power equals 1, right? And I'm looking at this and thinking about the powers of 7 that would actually solve this. Now, if I, if I couldn't find it, you could say 7 to what power x equals 1. And then you could take the logarithm of both sides. In this case, I would choose the log base 7 to make my life a little bit easier. Log base 7 of 7 to the x equals log base 7 of 1. You can take the log of both sides of an equation, just like you can do other operations to both sides of an equation and maintain the balance. And then over here, 7 to what power is 7 to the x? That's just x. And 7 to what power is 1? At that point, if you still don't, you're right back where you be began before. There's not really much happening. But this idea of taking the log of both sides will unlock these problems. And that would be 0. And at that point, if you're really stuck, you can just get a logarithmic table, if you're using that with your classroom, or in your investigation, or get a calculator. All right. I hope that helps.